Welcome to Learn to Live Stress-Free. This is Christine Wright with Dr. Robert Wright, Jr. of www.stressfreenow.info. Hi, this is Dr. Bob, the Stress and Pain. We're coming today from about three hours someplace outside of Berlin. Germany. I have no idea what the name of this town is. I'm on a cruise and I basically want to talk to you today about the difference between the peak experience and the peak performance. And I had a very interesting thing happen. Uh, about 90 minutes ago, I had a 75 minute massage and it was a uh, deep tissue and hot oil massage, hot stone actually. And one of the things that was very interesting in the outcome of it is that when I got back to my cabin, um, I had a, a peak experience, which was I was able to differentiate between left and right hemisphere uh, qualitatively pleasure experience. And so I had never uh, thought about that before, that the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere of the brain both give you can give you pleasure or pain. However, uh, this is the first time qualitatively I've been able to distinguish between pleasure in my left hemisphere and my right hemisphere. So that's an example of peak experience. And now um, peak performance uh, can uh, uh, states uh, uh, similar uh, to uh, peak experience. They are two distinct things, but what happens with the peak performance where, you know, you're obviously at the top of your game and just like the peak experience, it puts you in a state of flow. So one of the things about uh, peak uh, performance is that typically you're in a hyper state. However, it is also possible to achieve peak performance in, in, in a hypo-arousal state. And so um, the bottom line is that when you're in a flow state, what you find is, is that you um, you are in this uh, place of where the activity in and of itself is enjoyable and, and the normal uh, left brain analytical thinking process is not going on. And so if you think of like an athlete, take like Michael Jordan, one of the ways that he was able to uh, hit those shots with two seconds left on the buzzer is that he spoke about uh, during the timeout, was his gun, which was getting out of his own way. And so that helped him to bypass the analytical part of himself so that he was able to execute just like he was in practice. So when you're in practice, you don't feel any pressure. The same thing with Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods reported being uh, on the golf course, walking to the 18th floor, and uh, the crowd was cheering wildly. And he had tunnel vision such that he he did not even, he was not even aware of the people on the golf course. So this allowed him to execute his strokes and play his game just like he was um, uh, in, uh, in practice mode. And so when you're in that kind of mode, then uh, the likelihood that you would choke because of, of, of overthinking is minimized. So this is Dr. Bob coming to you from Germany, someplace three, about three hours away from Berlin, uh, Germany, and um, a very interesting. It was very, the reason I'm dressed like this is because it was very, very cold out here this morning, but I see that it has warmed up. But, um, so this is Dr. Bob from stressfreenow.info, and if you like the information I bring to you, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, give me a five-star rating. Until next time, be safe and be well.